Company at about 1.25 on Saturday the 15th of March, um, died yesterday as a result of his injuries. We're seeking assistance from the public who may have any information about the incident and we'll be asking them to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. In particular, we're asking anyone who may have seen Mr Langford um, late Friday evening or early hours of Saturday morning to come forward. Anyone who may have seen Mr Langford at about 1.10am on Saturday morning on Rundle Street near the intersection of Little Kappa Street um, it's believed that Mr Langford, or a person matching his description, was standing in the middle of Rundle Street attempting to hail a taxi. The taxi drove on and Mr Langford kicked out at the taxi, possibly damaging the rear panel. Um, to date we haven't uh, heard from that taxi driver and we'd be asking that taxi driver or anybody who saw the incident to come forward. Additionally, we're asking anyone who may have seen a male, not Mr Lankford, um, be assaulted at about 12.40am near the Hackney Hotel. Um, the male was assaulted by a male in company with two other males. They got out of a taxi and they said they'd been to a Bucks night. We'd be asking for the taxi driver or the two other males to come forward and contact at uh, Bank SA Crime Stoppers. Um, as always, any information on Crime Stoppers can be anonymous and um, we're seeking any information that people might have. Might be a little piece of information that might help together put together his movements. Is Mr Lankford uh, um, unconscious since police found him or has he been able to help you? No, he's been unconscious. Mm -hmm. um, with the CCTV, you mentioned that there was nobody else following him at the time. Um, has anyone else during that 10 minute period been identified on No, nobody? no. We've reviewed the CCTV and uh, before and after the C CCTV and um, there is no person. The injuries that he had to his, I believe, face and head, were they are you able to suggest they're consistent with a fall or is there some ambiguity about that? Yeah, it, it's very hard with head injuries. Um, they could be consistent with a fall. There's only the one head injury that we know of. Um, can also be consistent with a hit. Um, there's going to be an autopsy conducted, so we're hoping that might give us further information. So that hasn't been completed yet. No, no. But it, it you know, sometimes these things are very hard to determine. Um, we know that um, from the CCTV and from um, toxicology that Mr Langford was affected by alcohol and it's quite possible that he did trip and hit his head and fall. Could he have sustained an injury earlier on in the night that's caught up with him that's no. causing bleed or anything like that? Or? No, no. We believe the injuries occurred at the time. At that location? How likely is it that that other assault at the Hackney Hotel could be linked to mm -hmm. this? Look, it's unlikely because it was a fair time prior to and like I said, we've reviewed the CCTV and there's no persons either before the incident or after. Um, but we actually are keeping an open mind. Um, nothing's conclusive. It, it appears that Mr Langford's fallen, but that's why I'm appealing to the community to ask for more information. Could a vehicle have been involved that maybe not necessarily had hit him, but maybe he has tried to get out of the way of him then? Uh, once again, we don't know. We've had Major Crash do a reconstruction of the incident um, and we're waiting on their findings, but there's nothing to indicate that be, he's been hit by a vehicle. Um, and like I said, there's no vehicle in the CCTV. Was he on, whereabouts on this intersection was he? Sort of? Yeah, so just basically north of the intersection on the footpath. So he's on the footpath where you found him? Yeah, well, half on, half off. Half on the footpath, half on the road. And how was he found? On his side. Oh, on his, how was he found? By oh, patrols? No yeah. <laughs> um, so he was found by patrols. Mm -hmm. um, patrols regularly um, circulate through that area, particularly in the early hours of the evening. And um, they saw him laying there, um, rendered him first aid and called an ambulance. Was there any alcohol or drugs in his system or is that something you're looking at? Yes. Yeah, as I said, there was alcohol in the system. So, you know, 
We don't know. We don't know what's happened. Do you know how much alcohol? Uh, a reasonable amount, but it's very hard to determine, you know, the effect of that because different people have different effects with different readings. Given what you've got to go on, um, is it more than likely that you never know exactly what happened to it? Well, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping for the family's sake we determine exactly what's happened to him. Um, like I said, at this point in time, it appears that he's fallen, but that's why I'm asking the community to come forward and give us some information.